All right, let's get a little bit into the different data types of the Lua language in tutorial number seven of the Moves for Dummies uh, tutorial uh, video series for DCS World. Uh, before I'm going to demonstrate, let's have a little overview on this little list here that I picked from the internet and I will refer to the source after this video series because they've done a fantastic job there. Um, basically, what you have as uh, different types of value types is you got null and that means nothing. That means there is no data behind that uh, variable. You could have a boolean value that is true or false meaning a logical expression for logical checking these things are used you can have a number as already explained there are different types of numbers but basically in lua a number is a number so it could be integers it could be uh, decimals you know doesn't matter number is a number strings which are text fields of characters, an array of characters between double quotes or single quotes. Uh, you need to declare them. It can be functions, which is something that is being executed, like a logical block of code. And then you got something like user data that you should forget about, threads you should forget about, but table is important. These are actually arrays or lists. You have different types of tables. Um, so you can build lists of strings, lists of numbers, or you can mix any uh, array with different types of, uh, of uh, elements. So let me get into this a little bit into demonstration. This really shows you how these things is behaving. See you in a minute. So here we are again in our editor. So let me explain you first the obvious. So if we had there local 10 equals 10, local 20 equals 20, print a man, local, print 10 plus 20, right? If I run that, it gives me 30. Excellent. If I delete this, and I print what 10 is. Remember what I would give? Null, right? Excellent. But that still is running. 10, oh yeah. Sorry. That gives me an exception. That gives me an exception because 10 is nil, right? But if I do 10 now, equals that that gives me 30 very good let me get into boolean what boolean means that's a bit more intelligent right so something that's equal right so if i assign to equal 10 equals 20 right and i do this i put i need to put this between brackets otherwise it will do something else if I run this, it gives me false. That's correct. If I run this, it gives me false as well. Oh, yeah, it gives me false. If I do this, 10 equals 10, gives me true. That is good. If I do this, equal is true. That is true. Right? If I do this, valid, valid gives me true. And if I do local valid equals false, invalid. Right? What would it say? That's the equal sign, right? It will give you false because valid is not equal to invalid, but valid is equal to valid. Okay? Now, there's some very important thing why I'm showing you this, and it is, if I do here, v invalid is nil, contains doesn't contain anything. What does it show you? It shows 
true and this is oh no excuse me invalid false exactly that's better why because it doesn't it won't crash but it will say when i have an equal sign it can compare with a nil value so true is it equal to nothing no it isn't just this is one of the quirks in lua that you need to really understand and i will get more into that later um so actually true and false nil and false are almost the same almost yep yeah. this is really important to understand okay there was another data type we had strings right let me get a little bit into strings a bit further you can have print hello right but i can also do this with a concatenation right. hello world mind the space here this can concatenate this and this and strings is really very easy yeah there's nothing wrong but now if i do um, like this for example world is nil and i concatenate something with nil this is really important you need to learn this at heart this is why i'm showing all of this because this will generate you errors an exception right you cannot concatenate a string with nil it's impossible it will give you an exception okay and i will go later into dc as world and explain you and show you all of these things no you know how they could crash and so on um, an array let's go to arrays local list equals and now there's a new sign for declaration that i need to show you these are brackets so in a bracket i can do five gives me a list of so if i print this list and i run this gives me a table why because list refers to a table it doesn't have five as a value and because it's a list print will print in hexadecimal value the location of that list in your in your memory right it doesn't print you five so what you need to do is and that's something else i need to show you later is i need to go into the list i need to give the index number of that list so if i run this now that gives me five so the brackets the square brackets is the in the index of that list um, i'm not going into much details right now because then i would really run in advance just remember that there are types and let me summarize that then um, let me get that out um, magnifier yeah okay so let us summarize here right so that you have null values you have boolean values you have numbers you have strings forget you have functions as well but i'm not going to explain that right now user data nida threat nida and tables which are lists all right Thank you very much and this concludes tutorial number 7 for data types.